Not many people have seriously thought about how Mars can and should be developed and explored commercially in the next few decades by private business. This movie includes an examination of commercial robotic Martian exploration and how financial space mission prizes can ultimately save money for society in the exploration of the Red Planet. Also included is an account of historical precedents that have proven that ventures as massive as commercial human space exploration are profitable, with particular appraisal given to Admiral Bard and his multiple Antarctic expeditions and their historic parallels to deep space missions. I also explain why Mars tourism is a certainty way before the 2040s and that com companies that are involved soonest safely can make a very substantial profit. And I speculate on the kinds of people that are dedicated enough to be willing to put so much money and effort into paid interplanetary tours. I admit I am not a big fan of Mars. My personal passion has mostly been for serious conjecture about suborbital and lunar surface tourism. However, I also admit Mars does have a huge potential for private corporations to make a serious and regular profit in the next 30 years. With affordable transport to low Earth orbit, space tourism will explode as far as the orbit of Mars along with orbital and lunar hotels. Also manned surface visits will be far more common for public exploration funded by both governments and commercial entities, sometimes both at the same time. Affordable orbital tourism is already being seriously considered and planned for by reputable companies like Bigelow Airspace. They are already successfully testing inflatable module hotels in low Earth orbit. Mars can make a vast amount of profit for privately funded robotic exploration and humankind is at the very tip of the iceberg when it comes to for-profit space exploration. Robotic space exploration is just starting to get commercialized. The Google Lunar X Prize is the first sign. For those of you who do not know, it is a public prize of 20 to 30 million US dollars for the first fully successful private lunar rover. While government-run space exploration is still vital for the foreseeable future, the system of having space exploration run by nationalized agencies with near total domination of the manned spaceflight industry can and should not last forever. Space exploration and development needs to be privatized eventually to substantially reduce the funds to the taxpayer and to humankind in general, with multiple private corporations in competition both to provide the best service and make a good profit, NASA and all other agencies that are involved will become massively more productive and efficient. Governmental contracts made to private space exploration and development corporations can be more legally binding and not subject to constant revision and cancellation by politicians. The average American reusable spacecraft development program has changed its direction so many times since the 1970s that it has been all over the place. From the space shuttle budget being cut in half to the abandonment of the Venture Star program, federal backing. All the money wasted on programs started but never finished must be in the tens of billions. Massive manned orbital launcher programs have now been cut or completely cancelled after significant developments by USA five times in its history. The longer term they are, the more likely they are to be chopped by changing political administrations. At the first sign of difficulty, politicians get cold feet and give up. NASA or any other national space program would and should always be the overall regulatory authority with regards to US and other nations' space exploration. However, the carrying out of space exploration by multiple private contractors would vastly increase the competence for the competitive spending of the funds for citizen taxpayers. These contracts could be similar in principle to the X prizes that are being used to stimulate private precedents, 
only on a scale relative to the level of engineering difficulty. We have had successful SpaceX prizes. The new ones could be called, perhaps, NASA HyperX prizes. Public space exploration is the first step. Government agency missions have fully paved the way already. It is time for commercially managed missions to follow and fill in all the gaps to build a completely comprehensive study of Mars and all of its qualities. Human commercially managed missions can follow a lot sooner than you might expect, with more stringent deadlines and legal contracts binding the contractors to them to guard against financial loss making. Safety and mission success would also be equally stringent items in the contract to carry out any missions for the US government. Barack Obama has already directed NASA to privatize the human spaceflight launcher program. Other programs in NASA should also be privatized when the success of the commercialization that is demonstrated by the Google Lunar X Prize and an efficient SpaceX manned launcher service is evident. The moment Mars exploration development is privatized, the Mars Society should become a kind of profit-making company. A private institute like the Massachusetts Institute of Technology and start their own programs to compete for NASA contracts to study Mars in partnership with companies like Lockheed Martin and SpaceX. What is now the Mars Society can employ hundreds of people from NASA and thousands of people from the rest of the aerospace industry directly and indirectly and would be far more capable of achieving success through dedicated management and employees with clear goals for achieving success and revenue, eventually making millions of US dollars in profits since many of its workers would still be volunteers. The MarsSociety.org would become the www.mars-exploration.com. That web address does not exist yet. Someone at the Mars Society should claim it before it's taken. Mars Exploration Limited wouldn't be subject to entreating funding from uncommitted politicians who do not have serious interests in space exploration.